YouTube. welcome back to my channel Shagar Jen TV and I'm back with another freaking hair tutorial yes this is that 90s inspired hair tutorial with the half up half down um, my camera died closer to the end of the video so I'm sorry about that but I did add like how I looked after and etc before I be quiet because I know y'all want me to hurry up and be quiet and just get into the video I want to say thank you guys for the 2500 subscribers the 10k followers and the 130 K followers on TikTok. I appreciate all the support and I love you guys so much. Consistency all 2021 is up. And yeah, excuse the background. I don't live in a quiet household, so I gotta work with what I got. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for watching. section my hair into two the back is going to be where it's going to be the down part and the top is the half up um there's not really much to explain for this part besides you know watching the same for yourself i do part a section for the leave out for the weave in the back and i also part a section for the side part scoop in the front just so i can have that out the way and it won't be hard when i actually start styling <laughs> This is not on blow dried or flat ironed hair. This is on clean washed hair. You can blow dry and flat iron your hair. I feel like it'll come out much better like that. But I just didn't want to put no heat in my head since I had heat the previous styles. <laughs> perfect or anything because it's just gonna cover the weave in the back so that's why I wasn't stressing the parting as much <laughs> to explain how I French braided my own hair I started off like any regular braid I took three pieces and I just started going down and as I went down I added on more hair um, I plan on making a separate video with edges how to French braid how to add on hair all of that in one video because it's just too much to explain I hope you guys can see I tried my best to show the camera how I did it and this is the best I can do at explaining
so after I finished braiding, I started doing the needle and thread. What I did was you tie the thread and the needle together. You make like a little loop. You stick the needle under your braid and also through the hair. You take the thread and you wrap it around the needle twice and you pull through. Um, I'm going to do it again so I can explain it a little bit better. It's kind of hard to explain. So basically what I'm doing is I'm sticking the needle through under the braid and through the hair. Then I wrap the needle around twice and I pull through which creates a knot. And I also do this with the weave as well. It just only difference is I go under the weave hair, under the hair, and then all the way up through. Wrap it around twice and pull it through. You guys will be able to see right now what I'm doing. I'm just wrapping it around twice and pulling it through which creates a knot. I do not recommend that hair the hair was very cheap poor quality wasn't good i wasn't able to fill it because of covid of course and i really just have to work with what i have so i do recommend you getting better hair the hair was not even my hair texture that's part of the reason i didn't like the style in the first place um so basically like i said before i'm just sticking the needle under the weave hair also under my braid and then wrapping the thread around the needle twice and it creates a knot which locks the weave hair in so it won't move or anything and you keep doing this if it just happened to get stuck or anything which does happen i got stuck a few times you can try pulling it a little harder through which you don't want to pull out your hair or you can cut it and just like you know start over on a new thread that may be easier for you you can also get help during this part this is not mandatory you can do this whole hairstyle with your actual real hair i wanted to add weave to be extra So I really don't recommend that hair. I do recommend you getting some better hair. It doesn't have to be expensive, just better quality hair.
having to weave hair because it was just such a terrible quality hair and I just couldn't take it anymore so I ended up using my real hair but I still added this part in the film just in case you want to use weave hair and you do have good quality hair or whatever the case may be and you still want to add the weave in that part I definitely would have used weave hair if I had some good hair but I didn't so I had to work what I had to work with of the hair you can just tell by the look of it like no that's not no good hair like it literally was so poorly and i really wanted weave hair at the ponytail but it was just so terrible but this is what i'm talking about that you guys can skip if you want um just look at the quality it was terrible it just it just didn't look right <laughs> making me so mad also as you can see i didn't sew the weave up all the way like all the way all the way because that part was the beginning of the braid which didn't have any braid right there it was more like just hair and i didn't want to break off my hair or anything or make it too tight so i didn't sew up that part but you still couldn't tell so as you can see i took the weave hair out i really didn't like it i ended up curling my own hair I wish I could have put that a little bit lower. I really don't like it sitting that high on top of my head. So this is me doing the little swoop. Um, the whole style was just giving very much not liking. I really didn't like it at all. And I wish I could have did a little things different. Probably when I do the style again, I would do a lot of things different. I'm sure you guys can do way much better than me. And I'm sure it might come out better on y'all than it looks on me because this just wasn't it for me it was very terrible poor quality hair and camera was dying i just really didn't like it <music> give it another take maybe do a little things differently because this wasn't just it maybe with some better quality hair but i'm sure you guys can do it better than me learn from my mistakes and do very much well um in the end you will see the aftermath and how it looked um i kind of lowered it i guess a little bit 
or whatever but it was just not giving what it's supposed to get but you have reached the end of this video thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe what i gotta run game for i'm so tired of fucking with these lame hoes you the one i wanna put that ring on oh you heard the same song but i'm not the type to do your name